Okay, so I'm doing a little bit separate vlog here because I feel like this could be a good one to do. I've not seen too many people do vlogs um, that take like an extended period of time to create. So like I'm starting this vlog September 29th, which is exactly one month after my pro debut in figure. Um, after the figure show in Savannah, the feedback from the judges was to get my quads bigger, which I knew because that's always the feedback, no matter how, and my, quad, my quads don't grow easily at all. Um, but I, they have gotten bigger every single show I've done and they still aren't what they need to be apparently. They also said I need a smaller waist. Well, genetically my waist can only get so small. And if you see my pictures, you can see I'm pretty lean in my core. So, I mean, there's not too much fat that can go. So basically what I would have to do is develop um, my lats and my shoulders, uh, broaden them out a little bit more, which means add more muscle to them. And the one thing I said I was not going to do going into the show, I talked to my husband, who's also my coach, and um, I said, if the feedback was, if they want anything besides my legs to get bigger, I don't want to do it. But I want to keep competing, so we decided if they said, go bikini, I mean, go bigger, we would go bikini. So, um, those were our two choices, get bigger or go bikini, and we decided to go bikini. So, this vlog is going to chronicle, I guess, my transition from figure to bikini and you would think oh well that's not that bad you're, you know bikini to figure might be harder because you have to add on muscle and muscles really hard to add on try losing muscle that's gonna be fun um right now i'm actually doing cardio five wait i was doing five, five days a week and one day just glute hamstring training uh we've decided to do um let's see two hamstring and glute days and then do three to four, yeah, three to four um, cardio only days. So that's what we're doing right now. Um, one of them is hit, um, and then the others will be low intensity. And then one heavy glute and hamstring day, one light glute and hamstring day. Um, and so that's kind of what we're doing as far as food goes, I have to eat less food. So I'm actually eating probably 600 fewer calories a day right now than I was going into peak week for figure. So I'm actually eating less now than when I was in prep. And I'm in the off season. Yay. But I'm actually really, really happy with how this is going because I'm that's, cause, that's forcing me not to rebound. I've rebound so hard in previous years after shows like every single show so my goal for this show was to not rebound to um you know stay you know not obviously not show ready or tight but you know just not gain a lot of weight and i've been really happy with how this has gone i like the food i'm eating i'm getting a wider variety than i was um you know before and then also um you know, I don't mind cardio because doing cardio, um, and, I mean, I wasn't doing hardly any cardio at all in prep for figure uh, because my legs were so small, it, we didn't want to take a lot of muscle off. So I was doing 10, 15 minutes of cardio. Every once in a while I'd get to do 20, but not a lot. So this is completely different training for me, um, but I'm really excited. And so we're gonna see how things go. Till then, bye-bye. <laughs> I'm gonna take you through what I'm eating right now and during the day. So first I've got a one of those um, English muffins. They're a 100 calorie English muffin. And it's got um, one egg white, one piece of turkey sausage, and a, like, I don't know, 10 grams of fat-free cheddar cheese on there. I also have half of a Trader Joe's pumpkin bagel and one tablespoon of natural peanut butter. So that's breakfast. Okay, got my next meal. I've got about an ounce of cashews that I'm gonna have, and I will have one white cheddar rice cake. Okay, so my next meal is my lunch. It's my big salad. It's a spring mix, and it's got some almonds and cranberries and a little bit of gorgonzola grilled chicken breast and a little bit of the Panera 
Fuji apple dressing, which I really like. So that's lunch. Okay, so I've got my last meal before my workout. It's a piece of pita bread or a little pita round and one of the laughing cow wedges. I just spread it over that and eat it and it's a very good snack. So that's my next meal. Hey guys, I know that it's been a quick minute since I updated you on everything. Um, I started prep January the 9th. It's now February 18th. Um, my weight has dropped um, just because I'm losing muscle, which is the in the purpose, the intention. Um, training right now is one le whole leg day a week, two glute days, two cardio only days where I jog for about 20 to 30 minutes and then I walk the other uh, the rest of that hour and then um i do a very light back and shoulder day where i do two back exercises one for lats one for rhomboids and then three shoulder exercises just to hit each head um i will also um show you what my meals are like tomorrow they do change from time to time um but i'm already two meals in today so i want to give you a full day of what you know meals look like for me so i hope you enjoy it and uh here we go. Okay, here is meal one. I have um, some cream of rice, a little bit of protein powder, cinnamon, natural peanut butter, and a tablespoon of the keto strawberry jam. It's like four calories for a tablespoon. So that's meal one. Okay, so as you can see in the background, I'm at a gas station. I can pretty much show you any good gas station to microwave your food at. But I've got some mahi mahi some rice and a couple tablespoons of salsa verde in there. So that is meal two for me. Chipotle tuna, two and a half rice cakes. Meal number four is a one bar because I am still at work and still on the road. Next meal is a Kodiak protein pancake with blueberries in it. Made just this with This is water. what my family is having. Yeah. And this is my food. But you, get, but you look better. But you look better. <laughs> oh, under here. Under here. I got some mushrooms and rice and chicken. These are the desserts that I'm not having, but my family is. But I will have my next cheat meal and after the and show. The last meal for tonight is one of the Western alternative bagels with a tablespoon of peanut butter and some egg whites with a piece of turkey bacon and some veggies mixed in, along with some coffee and almond milk. Hey, so today I'm gonna to show you what a back and shoulder workout looks like for me because it is actually back and shoulder workout in the same uh, day. I usually have always done one body part per day. Um, but things have changed with me going to a different division. I don't really need to develop my shoulders or back anymore. In fact, I still am trying to lose some size off of them. So all of the sets have been reduced to three instead of four or five. Um, the fewest number of reps I will do would be 12. Um, unless it's the front raises I do. I think I do like eight or 10 of those, but it's because they're one and a half. So I'm really doing like 12 to 16. Um, but yeah, I'm not used to this, but I'm still trying to lose some of that mass. So, um, I'm going to show you what that's like. Um, also, give you a little update on where I am with picking shows. Uh, initially, we had talked about doing six of them. Then I found out that um, uh, probably five of my vacation days will, um, I'll lose five of them if I don't take them by May 1st. So, um, looking at it, I wouldn't, I will only do four, one in May, one in June, and two in August. This way my family and I can go on vacation together. So the most shows I've ever done in a year has been three. So doing four is more than I've ever done anyway. So that doesn't bother me at all, especially because my family, my family already uh, sacrifices time with me so I can come and train. So I don't want to ask them to sacrifice our family vacation. So that I can go do this is a hobby for me uh, it's not my full-time job I really enjoy it I love it I love the gym 
and this is just a byproduct of the gym. So I'm not gonna ask my family to sacrifice that, especially because my kids out of those four shows may come to one. So I don't think that's fair to them and I'm not going to do that to them. Um, I did have a cheat meal last night uh, because I did, my first show was gonna be May 8th. We decided to move back to a May 22nd show. Um, plus my weight had hit a low. I think I'm only maybe a pound from what I was on stage in figure. Um, I, my blood sugar dropped really low. So yesterday morning I was feeling really bad. Um, everything like started getting black, hearing got fuzzy, blood sugar totally dropped. So my husband, who's also my coach said, Hey, we're gonna, uh, we're gonna give you a cheat meal and probably increase your calories. Um, and figure I was eating 2,500 calories a day, even no problem. Um, right now I'm eating 17 to 1800. So, um, a lot of that I dropped was protein, but you know, I've been trying to keep those calories low because again, I want to lose mass. So, um, I'm 10 weeks out now. I'm way ahead of where I need to be. So we're going to increase calories a little bit and see kind of how my body responds to that. But here is how my shoulder day and back day um, are going now. Again, going from four or five sets of everything down to three sets of everything and only doing three exercise where, exercises where I would have done five uh, per body part per day. So it's like getting cut in half and reps are staying really high, weight is staying pretty low, We're just trying to get blood in there. Let's see how it goes. And for anyone who's wondering, my weight has, like I said, it had dropped pretty good. Um, when I started prep, I was 168.8 pounds. Yesterday, when I weighed myself um, at 10 weeks out, I was 146.4 pounds. So I have already lost over 22 pounds. Um, so just to kind of give you an update on that. One more thing I forgot, so I'll tell you now. Um, I do have a video of how I looked yesterday right after breakfast before we, we went to go work out. So here is the little video I took so you can see kind of what my midsection looks like. Yeah, so I'm pretty lean already and looking at that and thinking that I'm, t I'm 10 weeks out, you know, that's one of the reasons we thought, okay, you can increase calories a little bit. You don't want to get ready too early. You don't want to, you know, it's not good to stay super, super lean uh, for months and months and months on end. So that's what we're going to do. Um, I'll keep you updated, let you know how that goes because this vlog has already gotten really long and I want to do a couple more. So if there are any questions you have, any things you want to see, um, or no, just post them in the comments below. Hopefully this will help somebody out there who is also wanting to make that transition from figure to bikini.